what is up youtube it looks like lise just hit the store i am pretty pumped about this one she is high up on all the japanese tier list she is a dancer and she is an earth unit uh, i will be using all of my gems and gotchas on this woman i can feel uh, but let's take a look at what her skills specifically are we go to idola here status effects and debuffs like this and then we go to lise search um character database let's go to earth where is she there she is all right so here we are with lease law chaos and general neutral uh starting off as a i believe she starts out as a chaos and we have the new idola and hydra which we can probably take a look at here soon as well Let's take a quick look at her defense or her normal defaults here. So she has a two prone auto attack. The first is just deal 50 power, which is actually lower than most auto attacks start at. Normally they start at 80 here, but her second one is 80 and you need to have an elemental value of three to even do it. So she is not an auto attack champion whatsoever on her default. Her skills here, starting at elemental value requirement of four, she targets herself and she can only use dance. Uh, dance being her normal attacks here, increase the damage of all allies by 25% to 30% for two turns. That's pretty potent actually. And increase the speed of all allies by 15% for two turns. That is a very, very, very strong uh, elemental value four. That's actually worth reducing the cooldowns of. Uh, snappy Sweep is her A3. Requires seven and a power of 200. Randomly hits enemies four times. When you kill an enemy with this attack, heal all allies with a potency of 200. Oh, wow. That seems really strong in Arena. Wow, uh, it's also really strong for uh, battles that have very hard stages. You can basically try to uh, make it to where she is killing off the rest of a stage with this and you get free heals as well as doing uh, the damage. And then you have five turns to bring it back. But seeing as it's five turns past that, you're likely going to be using it around the time you're going to be trying to kill something else again. Uh, and then her elemental blast is directly after with an elemental value of eight. It does 405 power to 567, which is pretty strong for a single enemy attack. I think the strongest in the game we've seen is 800, uh, but 405 is nothing to slouch at. It does drain all eight, deals 4% more damage for each ally in battle. So you can technically have up to an additional 16%. What is 16% of four and five? Let's bring out a little calculator here real quick. So you're doing an extra 64.8% of your base attack as extra damage. Remove support buffs on targeted enemy. Very, very strong, especially in Idola situations, if it works there. Uh, and then you could also remove things such as taunts. You could remove uh, defense downs. Wow. This is really, really strong. This is really, really strong. And this is just her base form. Let's take a look at the changes of the law mix. Uh, this is the law character right here. A little bit of a maid look to it, like a red and white maid. That sword is pretty sick. I don't understand how she... Oh, okay, they're not swords. They're like really long daggers. Interesting. I like it. So nothing changes on her auto attacks here. It looks like the skills A2 is the same, the exact same. Interesting. Let me compare Chucked Cutlery to its original form again real quick. Default. Okay, so the difference there is that it looks to be the exact same. But you also increase the attack of all your allies by an additional 
so for three turns so you do this it goes first no you can't do this and then this actually because this requires you to do an auto attack uh so you would probably do your war dance which is uh directly after you use your elemental burst so you're filling up your gauge again uh so how this would probably look is auto attack turn one hopefully you're pairing her with someone like a puddin or something like that or you're switching to her when the rock animations is already up and then you're instantly applying a chucked cutlery um for the extra 10% of allies attack on this, and if it does kill people off, good for you. And then you're going straight into the elemental burst. Ooh, her elemental burst on law is strictly utility, actually. I thought we would see basically the same power here, but I was wrong. We see target all allies, increase critical rate of all allies by 25% to 30%, critical damage by 25 to 30%, and cure all allies status effects. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. She is really adding a ton of... Wow. If you're pairing her with someone like a... A, a Summer Stella... So if you're running like a comp, like, say, Summer Stella, Camphor, uh, Lise, and Popo on the wall side, and then you're chaining this with uh, your skill from summer stella you are hitting like a freaking tank and you are healing and curing considerable amounts of health on the law side but let's look at the changes of the chaos as well uh similar to before this is what the chaos side looks like all right guys i am doing this live on stream and pedro has actually let me know uh that her lost skills here are actually actually all three of them are actually gaining valuation uh from duplication so when it says heal all enemies buff all enemies it's actually uh and get four percent more damage for each ally in battle things of that nature is actually including the duplicates as part of that calculation process so you could actually get up to six yeah you can actually get up to six uh scaling factors that's pretty powerful but anyways let's look here at the chaos uh, again the normal attack looks the exact same through and through and the war dance looks the same as well the difference in the prompt sweep compared to the law is that instead of giving an attack bonus you get a 20 percent chance to inflict dizzy uh, so you technically have four attempts to do that uh, Dizzy isn't the most powerful of skills, but it does apply uh, a, a moderate CC to the enemy. Uh, and then her elemental, pla en elemental Blast is back at 415 to 581. So we're getting a slight power bump here. Uh, single target as well deals 4% more for each ally in battle. So as Pedro was just telling us in chat that this actually scales off of duplicates as well. Remove support buffs from targeted enemy and 40% chance to inflict dizzy. So her chaos form is actually just uh, a slightly buffed of her normal. And she begins to add dizzy to her skills as well. Uh, so between the two chaos and law, they seem pretty situational. I can definitely see situations in which you would want to run the law variants of her. Uh, specifically if you're trying to create hyper carry situations while still having rainbow compositions out there and having someone that is a an earth form is good because earth isn't predominant in the meta so she's not taking additional damage types from anyone other than earth uh, and then her chaos type you would probably want to scale her with uh, people like Windus and Jasper uh, but getting her to the eight elemental value is kind of a bit on the hard side consistently so you they would probably you would probably run her into ev compositions with windus and jasper you would scale up their duplicates use her uh her skills here and then potentially use windus and jasper directly after that let's look at her speed stats at 519 to 609 uh, she isn't the fastest, but she is very fast. Let's look at like what Windus is at. 
So she is innately faster than Windus. Is this normal Jasper? No, that's not normal Jasper. Where's normal Jasper? Oh, so she is actually very much faster than both uh, Windus and Jasper. So that is actually a very strong uh, unit to have on your team when buffing them up. Yeah, limit break one, max level 519. She would instantly go faster than both your Windus and the Jasper. So if you're applying the duplication onto her on the chaos side for Windus and Jasper, and you're getting the six uh, stacks as well, she will use her ultimate before both Jasper and Windus. So you are doing a considerable, a considerable amount of burst damage when you're using her in combination with Windus and Jasper. Uh, that seems like that is meta changing in itself. Uh, so Lee seems like almost a must own in that situation. Well, guys, that's my thoughts on Lease. Be sure to like, subscribe, and keep letting me know if you want that Idola Fantasy Star content. Uh, the game seems to have a pretty consistent crowd of people, but it's not seeming to attract more. So uh, I'm really hoping that I can continue to get y'all support as we cover this game because it's a really, really fun game. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.